afternoon from San Pedro de Atacama in Chile. We have now entered Max, this is our 16th country. Good afternoon from San Pedro de Atacama in Chile. We have now entered into our 16th country. Good afternoon from San Pedro de Atacama in Chile. We have now entered into our 16th country in the van. And we don't have too much in the works of plans today, but we've just been spending the last few days relaxing and kind of catching up on rest after that insane Laguna's route. And we've been doing some editing and organizing and planning. So I was just about to start packing up our campsite, but I thought I'd show you around a little bit. Now Aki's been pretty chill since we've been here, just going back and forth between the shade and the sun. He's had a bit of naps and downtime, but I think he's really ready to hit the road again. And then our pagola, which you'll remember probably mainly from Emma being with us. We don't set it up too often, but it is really nice for some shade and some wind protection. We just set up our table and have been enjoying it. But Max, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Really enjoyed a couple of days break. As you said, that route was pretty hectic, but yeah, also ready to hit, hit the road and it's so dusty here that I'm kind of ready to get out of it and clean the van once and for all. Hey buddy! Oh, look at that smile! Oh, he's pumped to get out of here. And just to address the elephant in the desert, this is a cold sore. I tend to get them when my immune system gets down or I have too much sun exposure, which definitely happened when we were in high elevation. So, sorry, it's not the prettiest to look at, but trust me, it's worse for me than it is for you. It's quite painful, and anybody out there who gets them as well, I feel you. Yeah, I would ha definitely have to say the town of San Pedro de Atacama is a lot more busy than I would have imagined, and more touristy, and just has some shops that I never would have picked to be out in the middle of the desert, like North Face. You can North imagine Face. the shock for us after coming out of four or five days of desolate nothingness but I'm just yeah Lee's on the hunt for some good souvenirs but yeah there's like North Face there's Patagonia there's Quicksilver like all these kind of really nice stores that we just haven't been around for a long time and so landing in San Pedro straight from Bolivia has been a bit of a hard change in terms of pricing because 10 Canadian dollars is about 5,500 Chilean pesos and the meals out in this town at least are around between five and 10,000 pesos, so 10 to 20 dollars, which is probably four or five times what it was in Bolivia. But I think this is also, because it's such a touristy town, it's not gonna stay that way. One of the things we do love the most about it though, is just how many dogs there are. You there, won't you? Come in closer, cause I, I want you near. Lean in, won't you? Come on over, cause you're all welcome here. If only we could all get together. If only we could all have company. If only we could all get together. All the better off we all could be. Wakey, wakey. We've got food again! So now we've just got to figure out where we're going to go. We have had a few friends that have done the Lagunas route and then come to San Pedro and they said a lot of the main attractions around the town are very similar to the Lagunas route but just much more touristy essentially so we're just going to pick a couple. The most famous thing that we're looking to see here is the night sky so really we just want to get away from town and away from the light so we can see that and then we're going to start moving a little south. Yeah. And welcome to how we decide on where to go. Sometimes we don't know, we just kind of look up references and sometimes we just drive south and see what we see. So, and we're literally... Yeah. Get... It's a day without a plan, so welcome to along with a day without a plan. Yeah, we're literally getting in the van to leave and going, yeah. okay, now where are we going? Alright, good to go? Good to get out of the dust? 
I'd say let's go to the desk, but we're going right through the desert. I know. Hawkins ready. Hey, buddy. It's already 4.20, so we're not planning on driving too far. There's some places close by, and just on trusty eye over land, I'm checking out which ones sound the best. <laughs> Fuck, he's already resting up. Alright, so as we drive along, I know we aren't being the best tour guides today, but I did want to say that Atacama Desert is the driest desert on Earth other than the two polar deserts, which is, you know, Antarctica and the Arctic. And the reason it's so dry is because it's caught between the Andes mountain range and then the Cordillera something, I'll have to put their name below. But essentially, the, there's no humidity getting over either of the mountains. So there's almost no rainfall here and there's some of the driest spots in the Atacama Desert get only like one or two mil a year. And I was reading, because it's so arid, there's a real lack of biodiversity here, obviously, because not much can live here. But of the few things that do actually live in the desert here, if it does rain, it's actually really dangerous for them because they've adapted to survive with almost no water. So when heavy rainfall comes down, their cell bodies burst and they die. So they're wow, actually really? saying... That's cool. Yeah, so they're actually saying global warming and climate change, for those who believe in it, will actually likely result in more rain here and kill some of the small amount of diversity that there is here, but it could also potentially bring new life. So huh. there you go. Back to Max. Max with Max. <laughs> We need a break. Yeah, from <laughs> full-time travel, from van life, and from YouTube. Yeah. We <clears throat> have tried to film this video, and to be honest, for the last few weeks we've been trying to work our butts off to film extra content so we can take a break, but we don't have to stop showing our weekly videos and sharing our travels with you. But last night we just kind of cracked and... You know, things weren't flowing naturally. We are a bit exhausted at the moment from having just done some incredible travels and haven't been incredibly traveling since January straight. Yeah. And if you've watched our last few weeks, like our last few vlogs have been kind of extra extreme and <laughs> hopefully you've really enjoyed them. But when we went to start filming this one, as Lee said, like halfway through, we realized it was starting to feel a bit forced. And that's the last thing we want for us or for you guys. We feel like we do need a bit of a break. We've been burning the candle at both ends a little bit too much. And I think, you know, we want to look after ourselves first. And we know that that will reflect in our videos and everything. Um, I don't know if you can hear Oki snoring, but he needs a break too. <laughs> so. And we've, we've always strived to remain open and transparent. And we have shared so much about this journey with you through our ups and downs. And we... Yeah, we just wanted to be honest with you and let you know that overlanding, more so than van life, like van life alone has its um, difficulties. difficulties and its stresses, but overlanding, constantly driving to new places, crossing country borders, getting proper paperwork, deciding where to go, like it's... Where to get food, where to get gas. It's, yeah, it's a water. lot of a lot of energy and it's extremely rewarding in so many ways, but it's also been extremely challenging in many ways and... Yeah, we just recognize that we've we've let our um, mental health slip a little bit and our physical health slip a little bit, and yeah. it's just time to take a step back and reset. Mm. However, we've been terrified to do that because we've spent, you know, we worked so hard on on putting together videos to share with you every week, and in this whole time we've been filming YouTube since March of 2018, we've taken two weeks off, and both times we were really sick. Other than that, you know, we've always created a video to share, and you guys have always been here 
to watch it with like to watch and to join our travels and to support us and so we, we've created this arbitrary deadline but and we think we're putting more pressure on ourselves than anybody else is yeah. but we're just afraid to like disappoint and to lose your viewership by taking some time off but. yeah i think it's definitely us putting more pressure on ourselves than anything else and but i think it's really important that you know, that we do show that, you know, you can absolutely love what you're doing, but it doesn't mean it's not tiring. And a lot of overlanders we meet on the road, they'll travel for a few months and then they'll take a month in one spot and just really relax And because they're, they're buggered, they're really tired and they aren't even working while they're on the road. So I think we have been burning the candle at both ends a bit too much. So this, yeah. we're planning on taking two, maybe three weeks off. And in this time, we're 100% not going to be working. We just yeah. want to like concentrate on our mental health, concentrate on our physical health and catch up with friends and family. So Lee is going to be flying back to Canada and taking some time with her friends and family. I am going to be flying back to Australia and doing the same on my end. And I only recently actually booked my flights because the biggest hesitation for me was I didn't want to leave Oki. For starters, I never want to leave Oki, but it's just not feasible to take him with us. And so I only booked it knowing once I found that there's an absolute really good place to leave him where he's going to be well taken care of. I found a place in Santiago, Chile that takes a maximum of 10 dogs and there's no there's no cages or anything like that they all get their individual beds there's 24 hour care they send yeah. me a video update every day and it's actually called a pet resort so i think he's going to have a really good time <laughs> while he's there as well yeah so even that like even the idea of wanting to take a break wasn't that simple or easy because of the logistics of figuring out Aki and figuring out the van and figuring out what, what we we're doing and how we were going to do it and obviously we have different homes but we yeah. think that this is the absolute best thing that we could do for ourselves now so that when we do get back, we are refreshed, energized, and excited to hit the road and yeah. excited to pick right back up and continue with Because you. after we get back, we've got Patagonia, we're trying to organize a trip to Antarctica, yeah. we've got Argentina, so we've got some really amazing things to look forward to. And that's mm -hmm. the other reason that we've struggled a bit is because we find the hardest thing is we don't want to feel like we're complaining about doing awesome stuff because mm. we are like living exactly how we want to live but yeah we just need that little break yeah and it's just real like we've we want to stay real and open and yeah. honest and for those thinking of doing a trip similar just to be aware that too much of anything isn't isn't perfect you know like too much travel, too much working, too much this. Like, it's finding that balance, and yeah. we've let that slip a little bit, so... Yeah, and thank... If, sorry, I was just going to say thank you to our patrons, because we have told them a few weeks ago that this was our plan, and they've been super supportive. And I'm sure, as the community that you are, that you guys are going to be supportive for us, too. It's just, yeah... It's just the fear of unknown, you know? We don't know... Um, we don't know how this will affect our channel, but it's yeah. it's worth it. Our health comes first. And if you do want to pick back up right where we left off when we get back, hit that notification bell because even if you're subscribed to this channel, YouTube doesn't always show our videos to, to the people who are subscribed. You have to be notified to actually yeah. be aware that we're posting again. So we will also put it on our Instagram page so you can follow us at Max and Lee underscore. Yep. We'll be posting probably more updates on Instagram while we take this time off on YouTube. But really, we're going to try to minimize our time online on this break. And then when we get back, we will let everybody know what's happening, where we'll be, what we're, do what we're doing. Exactly. So hit that bell, follow us on Instagram, and yeah. And thank you for all of your support so far. You know, this journey has been um, just so much more enriched with having you all along with us. and. Yeah. And I feel yeah. like we've really grown as people on the journey as a community and like, you know, we want to keep it going as long as possible. So this, we're seeing this break as a move for our longevity. We yeah. want to be able Sometimes to keep going. Sometimes you need to take a step back to move forward as a friend taught us on the road too. Yeah. So, so thank you for watching. Thank yeah. you for your support. And we will see you in a few weeks. It'll be back on Sunday again. Yeah. And enjoy your downtime. Get outside. Exactly. Live life and we'll see you in a few weeks. Bye guys. Oh.